Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with another little tutorial on the channel. It's been a while. I haven't made one in a while, so I wanted to make one. I discovered a project recently called Zelda 64 Recompiled. Now, a lot of us are used to playing our games in emulators in questionable legal ways, if we want to play them. I do actually own this game for N64. I do actually... Uh, enjoy playing it on original hardware, but once in a while, especially if I want to live stream, I don't have a good way to capture N64 gameplay, or if I want to make a video. So my only way would be if I wanted to start live streaming games, I would have to use emulators, especially if I want to do Game Boy stuff, because I'm thinking about doing that. Anyway, today's video is about Zelda 64 Recompiled, and I'm going to show you how to play it natively on PC without an emulator. Uh, basically, what you're seeing here is exactly that. You know, it's the Zelda Recompiled Project. And there's a bunch of games that are actually recompiled for uh, PC play, and it's insane. It's absolutely insane. There's a bunch of Mario games and such, too. So anyway, like you can see, this is the HL Emulation Recompilation Decompilation. Holy cow, that's a mouthful. But anyway, if you get to the GitHub... You'll see there's a bunch of info and a whole bunch of code. You don't need to worry about all the code. Who needs code? Anyway, you go to releases. You download the version you need. I would recommend if you're on a Windows computer, download the Windows version. Once you download that, you get a folder that looks like this. If you have 7-zip. I use 7-zip. Now, as you can see, I downloaded this last night, but just in case it's not up to date, which is not. There we go. Now, the other thing you are going to need is the actual ROM for the game, the questionable legality part. So you can go to really any we ROM website, or you can use my EMU Paradise uh, ROM bypass video to still download from EMU Paradise. It is still working. but Or you can just go to like CD Romance and click download at the bottom. Uh, that's... You know, there's a bunch of ways to get it. You don't have to use the EMU Paradise Bypass. It's just that was one of the cleanest websites. So here we are. You download the ROM, put the ROM in the folder. You know, maybe shake it all up. I don't know what you want to do. Anyway, once the ROM is in the folder, you want to start the Zelda 64 Recompiled Project EXE. I need to lower this. There we go. So we're going to double click the EXE. And as you can see, the very first time you set this up, it's actually going to ask you to select the ROM. Uh, since I've already set it up once, it didn't. Config menu, I'm guessing it's because it's in here. Somewhere. Ooh, you can enable debug stuff. Ooh, we might have to play with this more. Either way, it'll ask you to select the ROM on first boot. And I'm guessing it's because I've already launched it once, so it's not going to ask me for, you know, the ROM and such. Maybe it's in here. I want to know. Uh, who knows? I don't know. It doesn't matter that much. It's going to ask you to select the ROM. You just select it, and then you're good. And then if you want to set up your controls, you can set up custom controls right here. of Keyboard or uh, controller, you can go to general. You can select your rumble for hold versus switch uh, whatever you can do all your background inputs your auto saving is here you can invert you can do analog camera there's a whole bunch of fun little stuff controls your graphics you can do original 2x you can do auto you can do down sampling quality you can do aspect ratio full screen it does have widescreen support which is really sweet I'll show you in a minute and yeah and then you can control the sound obviously so I'm going to hit escape, I'm going to grab a fancy little white Xbox 360 controller, and then after you select it and you set up your controls and do all that, you just hit start game. I am guessing it won't be long until there are patches out that make the graphic quality better visually, instead of just reusing the files that are here. Oops. So as you can see... I already kind of started a game, even though I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to Zelda, because I've never played it. Well, I have. I have it on console. I've played it a couple times, but nothing fun. 
nothing extreme. But as you can see, here we are. We're playing it as a compiled standalone game. Now you might be thinking, cool. It's the same as an emulator. I'm selecting the ROM. Well, the recompilation project doesn't stop here. The recompilation project, there is a whole bunch going on behind the scenes. It's really freaking cool. Let's look at something else. Yes, I want to quit. So, you'll see SM64 PC mods. There's Render 96, Sonic 64, Sonic, uh, Super Mario 64 HD, Mario 64 Plus, and various mods. Well, you ever seen Mario 64 in full HD? Seriously. It does take a minute to load. A long minute because it's got to load all the assets and stuff. But, like, look how good this looks. Like, this is Mario full HD quality. It's insanity. Like, look at the press start. It's clear. Let's start a new game. Princess Peach looks all 37 pixels or, uh, you know, whatever of her. She looks awesome. The graphic quality in this is just insane. It's so much better than even the Render 96 project. Like, the cloud that he's riding looks like a cloud. It's insane. That graphic on the front of the castle. I really wish someone would do a full graphic remake. Like, do every single texture, not just coins and stuff you're kind of up close to. Do everything. Wait until you see Mario pop out of the pipe. Oh my god. He's got fingers. Crazy. <coughs> and then you can run around. You can do what you need to do. Let's see if I can lack a two skip. Oh, that was so close. I haven't lack a two skipped in years. Legitimately years. But even look at like the level counter and the star counter. So so clear and it feels so strangely comfortable on an xbox controller it does feel weird that i'm not using my oh no yeah no that's the right finger i was trying to think i was like it feels weird that i'm not using the correct finger for the z button but i technically am because you would just hold it by the weird third wheel of the uh controller but like look at this level it's so clean one thing i never learned that i'm not about to try Oh, that was a good one. I never learned the bomb bomb skip. I never learned how to do that, so I don't know. You know, it's not worth me trying, but... I mean, look at the... over. Yeah, some stuff isn't changed. Whatever. Like, let's go see the bomb bomb king. Let's look and actually, like, play this here. Oh my gosh, I am not good at movement anymore. I can hear my vibrate motors in my controller. That's a little weird. Okay. Thanks. You know we're taking the shortcut. I played Mario 64 through and through as a child. Let's get this man. Yeah, he doesn't look like he changed much. But like, even look at the text. What is that, Comic Sans? <laughs> Alright, get over here, big guy. Get over here. I just don't want to walk off the edge. It's what, B? Okay. So, I just throw him. And, what do you do? Throw him three times? I'm trying to remember. Oh, no. Uh-oh. No. Thank you. I don't remember... You throw them three times, if I remember correctly. But, like, just look at all the textures and stuff. It looks so clean. Turn around, big boy. Nope. Turn around. Oop. How do I... You know, something I never realized until today, years old, was this is a great way to teach you how to grab Bowser. the very first star. I never thought about it. There we go. 
Got my first star. But yeah, this is the Mario ones. You don't have to do anything. It's sweet. You can just boot up the game and go. It's so good. And all the mod ones are just a single EXE. It's so clean. I really want to do this on stream. I really want to play this on stream. But, you know, as you can see, tiny window. But there's so many Mario 64 remakes. Like, here's the Sonic 64. This one I've never tried to load. There we go. Let's see. Sonic 64? Oh my god, it's Sonic. Am I just... Am I fast? <gasps> You're spooky! Whoa! <laughs> but yeah, there's a whole bunch of options and stuff. You can do different dis different display types. Go back. You can warp into the castle. You can restart a level. There's so much you can do. There's cheats. What? Oh, man. This is cool. Super responsive controls. I don't know what that is. It doesn't feel any different. Okay, this is this is weird. Hold on, what's Bomb on Battlefield like with this dude? He is way too fast. This is dumb. This is really dumb. Oh my god. This is the perfect time for this. Let's go. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I totally shouldn't be doing that while I'm recording. Oh my god, my bad. <laughs> you know, what? we'll take the long way. Oh, no. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, that's a record finish for this, ain't it? 30 seconds? Uh, it, it's definitely been done faster than that. I'm sure this has been done faster than that. It's going to take the Koopa, I think, like 80 seconds to get up here. Maybe it's slower than that. So I'm not going to make us sit here and watch this. But, yeah. No, there's so much you can do. Display capture. There's so much you can do. There's so many mods. I really want to live stream this kind of stuff. So once I figure out live streaming, expect this stuff to actually be coming and I'm actually going to stream. But, like, there's so many. There's the Super Mario 64 Plus. There's Blue Star Castle. There's so many. There's the Phantom Call, the Star Road, Super Mario 84. Like, there's so much we can do. And so much fun we can have on streams with this. So I hope you guys are excited. I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to go eat lunch that I should have eaten three and a half hours ago. Peace out.